is meant for an adult audience. Lo- Love line may contain sexually oriented content. Mm, listener discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number one eight hundred L V E one nine one. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. Leanne Tweeden is our guest tonight. Hi. Leanne is the uh, host of uh, five four three two one on uh, Fox Sport Net extreme whatever show <laughs> and uh leanne is also uh best damn sports show period and uh leanne was in here seems uh, five months ago six months I ago somewhere about that and uh she was a delight <laughs> we had a good time with her i had a great time with you guys actually i was sad remember it was over before that i was like it's already midnight yeah i'm happy to be back though. yeah the show either goes very fast or very very slow painfully slow yeah what's it gonna be tonight I don't know. You're going to be gearing into That's a slow mode. Yeah. Yeah, I like to relax. Let's move it, right? Well, why should we move it? Leanne was here last time. She said it went too fast. We got to slow it down a little <laughs> for Slow it down. Pay a little attention. All right. Leanne, uh, I've been staring at Leanne on the cover of the uh, last month's FHM magazine, which has been floating around our <laughs> office. You know, these magazines, they don't, they don't go in. I mean, they, they, they stay. They sort of move from desk to desk, but no one ever picks them up and throws them out. Right. So I've uh, been staring at uh, Leanne from uh, last month. What do you and, think? Uh, it's good. It's solid. You went and visited the troops. Was that what we were talking about um, last Well, time? I, I was going, I think, had I gone to Afghanistan yet? I yeah, I think you I had went gone to, I went somewhere. to Afghanistan for Thanksgiving, and I, that was my second tour, but I'm getting ready to go to Kuwait and Iraq next week. Wow. Next week? Yeah. Oh, oh yes. In fact, somebody contacted us after we talked to her about it. Remember, we were all talking. We were just kind of discussing doing something for USO. Yeah. Uh, As a yes. result of discussing with you. Yeah. Yes. Who we'll contacted uh, us? Probably, con- probably from the yeah, USO. Somebody got us, and then nothing ever happened. Yeah. No. You know what? It was probably me because I told them about you guys, and I probably gave the number to the studio here, and they called. No. And obviously, you blew them off. That's all right. Yeah. Must Don't have been tell here. them about that. <laughs> You're kidding. You didn't want to go to Kuwait? Well, listen, we throw, you know, when we decide to bomb Hawaii, I'm going. You I was just I mean? in but Hawaii last weekend. All these places, we, we're we such idiots with our wars. We only bom- we only uh, get into it with these asshole places, you know? I mean, places are dumps. And they're not only dumps, they're halfway across the globe. <laughs> you you give me somewhere in like a uh, Western Europe, maybe a uh, Tahitian maybe. island. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like little I'd, Argentina, Brazil. I'd I'd go mm-hmm. to Central America or South America. Mm-hmm. Check that out, especially if you did it during like Carnival or something. <laughs> you know, here's what I'd like our government to focus on: focus on some of the major international holidays, and then let's let's go there. Like, uh, you know, I'm sure you know Spain's got uh, they got the running of the bulls over there. I wouldn't I wouldn't too. mind checking that out. Let's focus our wars during uh, peak travel seasons, and then let's have some nice destinations, <laughs> and I'll go over there and entertain the troops. They can watch me relax. <laughs> Greece, Italy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sure. You, everyone's got to go to, like, Beirut and Afghanistan. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Nothing to do there. Just stare at... Lots of sand and yeah. heat. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got a bunch of uh, horny guys. Yeah. And horny girls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forgot about that. Drew's True. page are going off. Man, that kind of made me nervous. All right, for so a what do we? What do we? We're not. We're not plugging. We're just plugging uh, five, four, three, two, one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. FHM hundred sexiest, which oh, yeah. I think you should come to that party. Is that tomorrow night? Yes, it is. Where is that? I wonder if I should. I say where it's at. Uh, they'll it, have a, security. A They're not going to let people in if they don't. They're Raleigh not on Studios. the list. Oh, all right, yeah, that's good. And uh, how many of the sexiest you think will make it there? You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably most of them if they're in L.A. Yeah? Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. It'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. I mean, if you're a nice heterosexual male, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. Except Adam's always yeah. had a thing about those lists. Yeah. Why? Because I, there, there's no particular order to them, in, in my mind. Right, I mean, there's sure. oftentimes girls in the 80s and 90s that seem much hotter than the, than the 20s and 30s or I even agree with the you teens. On that. You know, that... You know, Christina Aguilera or, or Britney Spears. I mean, they're 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 okay. Like if I I would have asked them in high school <laughs> if if I had a chance. But I mean, they were they were like if they were in my high school. If if Christina Ag- Aguilera or Britney Spears was was in my high school, it would it would have been like the twenty uh, ninth best looking chick in the senior class. Mm. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. What, that that makes them number two in the United States. Really? I went to North Hollywood High for uh, Christ's sake. You go to Valley College. You go uh, t- t- just go walk through the campus of the junior college over here. You find five chicks hotter than that. Well, last year it was Anna Kornikova that was number one. What do you think of that? Anna Kornikova is pretty hot. You think number one though? 
No, not number not number one, but she's definitely, you know, got a Hot got pepper. a nice leg up on on uh, Christina or Brittany. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about that. But so, anyway, the thing about the list is when you're looking, you know, when you're drooling over number 98 and then uh, number three is uh, not so hot, it, it kind of screws up the... It, I the mean, doesn't... Well, I mean, it's like if you had a list of uh, best basketball players of all time and Michael Jordan was number 98 and, uh, you know, Norm Nixon was number one. And Norm Nixon's a fine ball player, but... It should he shouldn't be listed number one. You know you know what I'm saying. What number should Leanne be? Leanne number one. Oh, stop it. That's right, baby doll. Less <laughs> than some, number one. Number there zero. Ooh. Well, I mean less than one. Point five. <laughs> because I'd like you to edge out number one. Who is number one? That's Minka. Who is number, number one? Uno? Asian big boob queen. Oh Lord. Jenna. <laughs> yeah. What were you? What number were you? You were high. You you were in the. 90s or the 80s or 50s? Where the hell were you? You weren't in the top 50, were you? What? Not you. I'm 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 asking Leanne. Where oh, were you? I was 39. 39? Yeah. No, that's solid. Yeah. Respectable. It's it's. I was surprised. Let me tell you why 39 is a good number to be somewhere in the 30s because it's, you don't. It's not that flip. You don't get the backlash yeah. because if you're if you're in the teens and you're not super smoking, boiling hot, or there's some Brazilian bikini model who's in the 70s who's hotter than you are, people get mad at you. Right. In the 30s. They blame me. 30s, good spot. Good. No one argues with it. Smart. Who is Very number smart. One? <laughs> Minka. Jenna? Yeah, I'm here. You're 23? What is this I'm thing? 23. What's up? Oh, my God. Well, it's kind of a graphic. Drew, do you ever get tired of horrible radio? Here we go. Jenna. What is this thing? Oh, my God. Is he, is he, is he grabs Leanne's cell phone into the mic without saying what it is? Oh, it's a camera. All right, just stop it, Drew. Just stop it. What, what, what are you doing? Jenna? Yeah. You're 23? 23. Drew, just start thinking things. Stop saying them. All right. So, um, I, I really enjoy, you know, um, anal sex. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and uh, it's actually my favorite thing. Um, I enjoy it more than, wow. you know, regular sex. And uh, and lately, it's been um, more painful than it normally is. Mm-hmm. And so, I'm a little bit worried. I've been, you know, um, when I first started the first, you know, couple of months that I did it, I could take it, you know, five times in a night, easy. Sure, sure. And uh, now it's kind of like every time we even go in that direction, I kind of pull away and, you know, ow, 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 so... Five, know, uh, maybe... okay, hold on a second. Let's get back to the five times. Because, yeah, I mean, I remember, you know, high school days, taking it five, ten times in the ass. You, you, yeah. You yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was simple that was, times. That was just football time. season. True. But why five times? I think so, actually, yeah. <laughs> how, do, how does five times work? It's uh, it's interesting. Um, well, you know, you can't go back and forth between the holes generally. So once you start in one place, you kind of keep it there. Yeah. And, uh, so and I just I have five times it. though. He has five orgasms in an evening via anal sex with you. Yeah, yeah. He can probably go longer than that too. I just end up Lo longer. You meaning more orgasms? Yeah, yeah. Than five? Yeah. How old is he? Uh, twenty-seven. 27. So you guys have sex. He gives it to you in the can and uh, has five orgasms, sort of minimal, or used to. Well, he's, I mean, he can still have that many. I just can't take it, you know, into yeah. that place anymore. Well, that many times. Really? Wow. <laughs> Holy Christ. <laughs> I couldn't even... If I had a rearview mirror with a telescope hooked up to it, I couldn't see that far in the past. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just... Man, I couldn't, what a, couldn't do that. What a first caller. Yeah, <laughs> right out of the blocks. All right, I'm so <laughs> really, it's five orgasms, and it's all anal sex. Well, I, yeah. Leon gets a bogus factor. Now, but Leon, the thing you have to know about bogus, though, is women don't make bogus calls. Now, this is a bunch of guys. A bunch of guys behind him in the room giggling. Yeah. They, they got she's put up to giggly. it. Giggly. Now, she's embarrassed. I really am embarrassed. I, and I'm really sorry I'm the first caller now. I'm really embarrassed. Okay, but the, the point is, is this is uncomfortable for you to do now. Yeah, and okay. I can still take it, but it has sure. to, you know, I've got to be, it used to be, I didn't even have to be warmed up per se, you know. Right. Um, but now I really need to be real warmed up and comfortable before I can take it at all. And, and so, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. did, right. did you damage something, do you think? You know, I, I don't know. I don't think so. You can. But that, it's, 
the pain is definitely different when you <laughs> obviously you guys probably haven't had anything in that um <clears throat> orifice before so you don't understand the the difference in pain um but the muscle pain like when you contract your muscle um is, is usually what hurts when you first have it put in uh-huh. but this pain is different it's not the muscle it's it's definitely a different pain so i don't know if it could be an injury but all right well listen why don't you get yourself okay. checked out yeah it could be who should look at her? Like a porn star, uh, a specialist? Yeah, a proctologist. All right. Go, go to a proctologist. Get, you can get fissures and abscesses and the terrors and all oh, kinds yeah, of good Just stuff. for the sake of dignity, tell them four times <laughs> in a night. All right? Is that and, really and, bad and, for and girls to that, that could get you on that 100 hottest list, by the way, right there alone. <laughs> and, and it Adam's you, 100 hottest. It makes That's you worry right. about the guy, too. That He would have to be, like, manic. He'd have to be bipolar mania to be able to do this, pull this off, so to speak, so many times. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, you just, you, you've, uh, you, you, three corn holes, and it's like, uh, baby? Yeah. Yeah, the three times I got you in the ass? Didn't do it for me. <laughs> I mean, that was a snack, but I need the main course. I mean, do you guys... Have you ever done it or five times in one night, just normal? No. Like in a row? No. I no. Either, no. I mean, Not even no. at 18. No. Exactly. No. Mm-hmm. Maybe, exactly. maybe I'd, I may have done it to myself, <laughs> you know, because I was a bad, bad boy when I was in high school and, you know, I was homesick or something. But uh, no, that's crazy talk right there. <laughs> Sophia? Yeah. Uh oh! Okay, Wait a minute. Update, update from Sophia. Oh, update from Sophia. Now, Sophia, we'd been talking to through the last few nights. And uh, Sophia, <clears throat> her grandfather was uh, sexually abusing her, mm. right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we gave her a phone number to call, and she called that phone number. And you got a meeting with a social worker. And today, you met with the social worker. She came to my school today. Okay. And I spoke to her for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't go home. I'm in this place. It's like a transitional home, she said it's called. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I'm going to be here for um, a little bit because she says um, I'm not ready to go back to my mom and my grandpa. Right. I'm, um, and then, then I might go to foster care. I'm going to go to counseling with my mom if she lets. Okay. And I'm going to go to counseling alone. Great. Good. Do you feel Good better? Good for you. Do you feel um, better? I feel better after I spoke to her because no one had ever been so nice to me. Great. Remember how <laughs> nervous you were last night? How you thought yeah. that nobody could be nice? She was so nice, and yeah. it, it, it just, I'm, I'm still scared, and I don't feel deserve it, but even if I don't, I was just, I felt different talking to her. Good. Good. Okay, great. You know, that's the best thing you can do. Good for you. Be are strong. You, you know, you, every day is going to get better. Any peers around there? Any kids you're getting uh, friendly with or anything? Well, I just got here today, but tomorrow there's like, um, they have like, groups of girls um and they all like you can say but you don't have to say what you've been through great and um she told me there are going to be other girls who had like same problems and there's also um this place it has like 40 women and some of them are like me and some of them are like um older women who husbands beat them Mm. it's for um people who don't have like husbands or kids though and where do you sleep I ha- well, I'm going to have to go to a room with, um, like, three other people tomorrow, but tonight I have my own room. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's great. You sound much better. There's be a lot of less and off going on in those mm, places. That's true. Place. It's true. Please. It's true. <laughs> Sophia? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Good. Yeah. See? You made, you took the first step. Yeah. Now, give us a call in a couple more weeks and let us know how it all okay, unfolds. I could say thank you to the lady because I really wanted to. Well, tell her thank you for us. Okay? Yeah, we appreciate her helping. Was us. she was she a huge black woman? No, she's white. Mm, huge, huge though, right? No, <laughs> <laughs> always huge. No, but she. I, I think those counselors eat the first three kids they see. <laughs> oh my God, no, she's it's true. Nice. Skinny, um, eating disorder. <laughs> okay, so hey, she's a saint, and God bless you, Sophia. You did the right thing. And she's like, but I want to say thank you to the lady here because I wouldn't have called if it weren't for her, and I. Just really want to say thank you. All right. Hey, how about some props over this way, too, toots? Oh, We're no, busting our chops every night for you. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm that's excited. nice, yeah. Oh, it was I'm Anne? It was Anne that talked to her? So yeah. it was Anne that ma- ma- Producer Anne. made her call. That's good. Really? But good work, I Producer Anne. Thank you, and I was so scared last night, and I, I would have killed myself, I think. 
thing I hadn't spoken to you, although I was sad when you hung up on me, but, um... Oh, that was true. Oh. Listen, Sophia. Yeah. It's, uh, this is, this is the, uh, this is the turning point in your life. Yeah, this is it. It's the first day of the rest of your life. I know. And so is tomorrow. So you know, is I'm proud day, that right? she actually that's made that the, phone call. You know, part. I hear, I listen to you guys all the time, and I hear you guys, get, you give out numbers and hotlines and call somebody and get help, and it's nice to know and to hear somebody actually did it and has she, actually made a step forward. She did it. They made a connection. They yep. kept it going. They yeah. Well, I mean, she's her. out. She's in a place, at least, where you she's know, not going to get abused. Occasionally, or amazingly, these days, mm -hmm. the system works. Yeah. Yeah. It's just there's too many people that need the system, but when people can get in, it can yeah. work for them. Well, her... Her grandfather had been molesting her for like 10 years or something. It was horrible. She was living with him. I mean, she was a basket case. Well, at least she's out anyone now. would be. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, she's out. Boom. How old is she? 15. Oof. Not something. All right. So, Sophia, uh, mm. Mazel Tov, as your people would say. I'm, it's got to be a Jewish family. <laughs> right, Drew? Well, as you point only out. Jews are in the foster care. As you care. pointed out last night, only them the foster care. And, only and they're they... the only ones that fire guns in the air on the 4th of July <laughs> and uh, New Year's. Strictly the Jews, especially in Los Angeles. All right, so, so uh, good. Call us and keep us updated. And I hope, uh, I hope the grandfather just dies a horrible death. I'm gonna send that kid to visit the grandpa that twists people's heads off. The grandpa or the call? Yeah, the grandpa. We have a Remember, grandpa. No, no, we had the guy that. What was his name? That oh, he twists twist. off the heads of the guys. Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth. Kenneth, Kenneth yeah. yeah. Why are guys named Kenneth extra creepy? Ken, Ken's are fine. Kenneth serial killer. <laughs> What is that? You think the eth part would just make them gay, but it doesn't in terms <laughs> of more the killers. Regal, regal somehow. Yeah. Roger? Uh, is me. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, sorry. Hi, I don't uh, know. <laughs> Roger, your response reminded me of something. I took a uh, IQ test tonight on a uh, on my computer. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. Yeah, it was the first first time I've ever taken an IQ test, how'd at you, least in my knowledge. How'd you do? How do well, well, I got, I, because I, I was, my wife came home from work and... Uh, <laughs> She said uh, I t she took an IQ test on a computer today at work. She just stumbled She's, on it? or I, I don't know. You know, stuff moves around yeah, the office. Yeah, people always. People find and then people stuff email then, you. Hey, yeah, take, yeah, I'm take doing this, some, do this. Well, I bring it up because I'm doing some weird show, some show for Fox on Monday, a live show, IQ test for America. Really? Uh, I've never taken one in my life. I mean, if I had... If I have taken an IQ test, it was like in kindergarten or something. But I wonder if they're sending stuff out or something. Ma or... Maybe. Yeah. Well, who knows? But I've gotten one a couple of years ago. People yeah. are always like, I'll oh, take this test, IQ. And it works. How'd you do? Uh, 91, which I hear is so <laughs> 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 you got? I got a 91, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Ninety-one, that's solid. <laughs> so I hear that's good. Did you just not read it properly? Maybe <laughs> did someone give it to you I, I verbally when her I told I told my wife, "Look, read it to me. <laughs> read it to me because I can't read." So it. you got a ninety-one with her reading it. No, to you. no, no, no. Okay. She wouldn't read it to All me. Right. She said, "She said, now you just take it." My reading skills are poor. Well, I, I can actually read okay, but I can't really make sense of things that I read. Yes. They don't make sense to me. Yeah, it's visual processing. Yeah. Yes, I have to hear, I have to have somebody you hear read it, it to me. You actually have to hear it. Yeah. Yes. Right, right. So, uh, but, you know, 91, respectable. <laughs> Roger. you read outside, out loud to yourself? <clears throat> no, he, I, he, has, I, he has his servants read to him. Oh, I have people read to yes. me, yes. And if I, if I have to make <sighs> sense of something, I will read it out loud. But okay. even then, I can't do it. Somebody has to read it out loud to me. How many but, points above retardation is that? 91? 91 is like a full uh, seven points mm. over... Average. O over, uh, over average. Idiot. Yeah. Isn't the 80s average? Like that? <laughs> I thought... I don't know. 100 is average. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you, you get the breakdown. It's supposed to be. The 100 is. Is it? My yeah, the 100 is the bell curve. Middle. No, no. Yeah, no. Let me let's look it up on there. Come on, ninety-one. Is it, is it ninety-one? Very solid. What is it? Very solid. What's, Very solid. What's he saying, Roger? Hey, yeah. Listen. Yeah, Mark says hundred. We all, all say hundred. Right. Mark right. went to USC. All right. Well, Mark's a professor. He knows. Listen, ninety-one's fine. Look, if you get a test and you get a ninety-one on a test, it's a test, right? What do you get? An A. <laughs> an A. No. Yeah. B. You get an A if you get a ninety-one. Ninety-one's an A minus. A, 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 a minus. Ninety-three was mine. That's right. That's up. I rest my case. A hundred's a C in this case. I rest my case. You get a 91 on a test. This is the word test is right in it. IQ test. I get a 91. That's A A minus material. Please, that was Thank a B you plus very much. for me in school. Thank My you. My curve is a lot higher. Roger. Hi. Uh, first, I just want to say hi to Leanne. I I have the FHM uh, edition. That's it's really nice. Roger that. Uh, Thank you. See why you. Roger reminded me of the IQ test. Yes. And uh, you don't want to lock 
mental antlers with me, Sweet Pea. I'll tear you a new a-hole with this uh, 91 brain of mine. <laughs> got a little theme going here. 91 octane, baby. That's why they call it 91. You I know see. what I mean? Yeah. It's high oh, octane. High Hi, o- Roger. High octane. 91. Uh, Go ahead, Roger. Uh, before I ask my question, I was just wondering if you'd play the Taboo song sometime in the uh, show. No. No? <laughs> you, want to, you want Adam to sing to you, Leanne? He will. Yeah, I'll, I'll sing the Leanne the, uh, the theme from Taboo, too. Yeah, uh, she doesn't know what that is. Oh, wait. That's one of my uh, wait, all-time favorite well, hey, porno he movies. He sang to me last time. Okay. It has mm. to be the same it song, must be, it must isn't be. it? Yeah. Roger, do you remember that last time? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get down all the lyrics, but I'm not sure if I have right. it all. I know, but mm. d- d- did he? Did I sing the theme to Taboo uh, too? I think you did. You must have if she remembers uh, it. I all right. I'm just did. wondering why Roger's Actually, bringing I think they up. dimmed the lights and you walked out. Nice. Mm-hmm. I thought I remember you pulling your hair. Yeah, your, that yeah. too. Right. All right. Secretary. Anyway, Roger, what's up? Oh, the glasses. Yeah. Yes. What's up, Roger? All right. Um, my question is, uh, I just started dating this girl about a month ago, and uh, last week she started giving me oral. Yeah. And, um, but when she gives the BJs, they're really, um, they're really aggressive, and it's like really hard for me to uh, come. And then about a day or so ago, I was trying to masturbate, and I really, and I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't get an erection. She hurt you. Yeah, and I was just wondering if um, if she damaged anything internally. Mm. Mm. Uh, how long is ago? that possible? Yeah, it's possible. But oh, to an aggressive BJ, I mean, you would have yeah. symptoms. Where you would feel something painful during it, and there would be some swelling. Well, and... what was she doing? Um, she was. I mean, I mean, she just sucked. I mean, it really hard. And I mean, it was aggressive. And I told her that was no, no. No, no, we're not really buying it. I don't know. Hard sucking? No. No. Come on, Roger. Wait, what? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> no. He's fine. See, I that, don't trust this kid. Guys are screwballs. Girls aren't, see? Yeah. The, the first caller turned out to be the real Come thing. Come on, you can't say that. There's right. got to be some girls that would call and We had that. one once call and get us just to prove that there was someone. Yeah. Are you going to tell me that that girl's getting... Five times, I and she's giggling times. about it, and it's funny, and I, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe right. it. My BS factor went... I have went trouble believing it, but... Up. Well, listen, you, you have a couple of great minds over here to, to de- basically decipher these calls. <laughs> Solid 91. Drew, I don't know where you're at. You got it. You're probably <laughs> in the high did, 80s, how long did it take low 90s yourself. <laughs> took me about this is like a 20, 25 minutes. Wow. Is there a, a time limit? I don't... Is there? It said the time. Yeah. It, it said that if you, if you took it more within. time, if if you took more time, it would be worse than not doing a question. Like if, if there's some question you're spending you? too much time on, yeah. you should move on. Okay. Yeah. So me reading every question and using my finger. <laughs> and then probably, trying to read it out loud was, again. Yeah. Probably not a great thing. But, uh, you know, hey, I, I'm, uh, I stand by. First off, nothing wrong with average intelligence. That's average. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, when I was in high school, what's an average grade? A C? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could have gone for that. Oh, then, yeah. Go hey, Drew, it sounds like he's trying to justify himself. He should, a lot he's tonight. rationalizing. Tonight, more. a lot. Nothing wrong with the big 91. 100 is the average. 100 is the average. <laughs> <laughs> Looked it up. Yeah, that's in the realm of average. I got nowhere to go but up, by the way. Maybe I get 94, 95 next time I take it. Know what I'm saying? All right. Let's take ourselves a break. Leanne, what's that, Drew? I, I'm trying to figure out how IQs can have a stable average. I mean, it's got to change with time. Sure. Do they arbitrarily set it at 100 or per given population readings? I don't understand that. Well, all right, anyway. Okay. And what? And they just have tests for 10 year olds, too? Can't you yeah. have an IQ test when yeah. you're five or mm-hmm. something? I, so, I, mean, I got to take that be. one. That's the one I got to get. <laughs> all right. Leanne Tween, our guest tonight. She's on uh, 54321 Stream Sports Show on uh, Fox Sports West. We'll take a uh, quick break. We'll be right back. Hello. This is your radio. Radio. Love Line. Love Line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. On 105 Alternative. San Francisco. Love Line. Love Line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Call Love Line at 1 800 Love 191. Live 105 Alternative. San Francisco. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Leanne Tweeden is our guest tonight. 
She's the host of 54321. That's on uh, Fox Sports Net's new extreme sports show. And uh, it is that, I should say. It's the pluralization that drives me nuts here. I remember it last time. The Fox Sports Nets. Mm. Always feel like I'm mm. uh, stumbling a little there. But uh, weekdays, 5.30. It's, uh, it's extreme sports. You've got your uh, high half pipes and your uh, snowboards and uh, your uh, guys on uh, dirt bikes and uh, all the Surfing good stuff. And Surfing and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff's good. Big wave surfing's very exciting. Mm. Very cool. I just mm. got back from Hawaii. You did? Yeah. We were on the North Shore a lot. W- was there a war there? Because I'm going. No <laughs> war? No. 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 A lot of military, to to though. Hawaii. Yay! 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 I want to go to Hawaii! Yeah. Speaking of that, by the way, <laughs> well, cranky anchors, uh, I'm going to... Uh, Michigan. I'm going to Detroit, Michigan. Mm, sorry. When? For what? 2 a.m. on Friday. For what? Because um, because Eminem is in love with Crank Yankers, and he wants to do phone calls. And we got to go out there and meet him in Detroit. Yeah, I know. It sounds crazy, right? It's kind of right? cool, though. It's kind of I mean, cool, except for the part where you're, you're leaving at 2, two, right, two yeah, a.m. to go to Detroit and I've, you, I've you come million, home Sunday and go to mil- work. I have a million questions. Yeah. No flights leave L.A. You're taking a private jet or something? No. No, there's, Nothing a, leaves after there's like a northwest flight that leaves at 2 a.m. Right, from right, LAX right. Mm-hmm. to Detroit. And then why does this have to be in Detroit? I, I guess that's where I guess that's where Eminem and is. Are you forming a video of this? Or are you are you getting him to do crank anchor calls? He wants to do calls. So, he, so you're just doing going out there to meet him. So you're taking your production initial. Team? Yeah, I'm just going out there to write jokes and you know just the usual John and those guys. Your usual yeah, our normal crew. Yeah. our normal right. crank yanker right. crew. I think yeah. Jimmy's going. Oh, too. So you're actually going to do a show while you're out there. A, a crank yanker. Going to record episode. calls. Okay. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. That's right. With the uh, great Eminem, and he's going to be with uh, Special Ed. He wants to do ones with Special oh, Ed right. who. Uh, just wanted to go to Hawaii. Right, so right. Uh, that's going to be interesting. All very exciting, except for the part where uh, on Friday night you get to go to Detroit at 2 a.m. All right. Let's uh, move forward here and uh, speak to uh, Sergio, who's 17. Sergio? Hello. Um, I'm Adam, Dr. Drew, and Leanne. Um, I'm kind of nervous. All right. Um, I want to know if um, um, Leanne um, liked doing Blue Torch better than 54321. Like I know, like on five four three two one, like it's like a new show and everything. But like with Blue Torch, you guys got to like um, travel and everything. Yeah, totally. I I love Blue Torch for that because I, the world was my office. I was everywhere. But we're we're actually getting out of the studio now from five four three two one and going to be traveling around a lot more. So Blue Torch exciting. was the same kind of show, though. Yeah, absolutely. And the same type of sports you covered, mm-hmm. right? And it was an hour long show. It was a little bit different format, but uh, same sort of stuff. Yeah. 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 And I have another question. Um, I was wondering if you knew about the court tour. Hold on. Is it, this is the guy who sounds uh, the crank yanker sounding guy. No. That's what he sounds like. Say crank yanker, Sergio. What's up? No. Say, no. say crank yankers. Crank yankers? No. Crank yankers. See, that's different. <laughs> All right. What's marginal? Um, <laughs> I want to know if you guys knew or Leanne knew about the court tour coming up um, like next week. Yeah, you know, I don't know much about what what's your question? Um, I actually wanted to know um like if you guys would do a segment over there. And you know, we probably actually are sending people. I am uh, going to be going back to Virginia before I leave for my USO trip, so I'm not going to uh, be in town. But uh, I'm sure somebody will be down there from our show. Oh, uh, all right. All are right, you going to go? Yeah, it's oh, cuz cool. like my birthday is this Monday coming up and I wanted to know like if I would have like met you in person over there. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> She's going to Virginia, then she's going to go see some troops. Okay. All right. You could Bye. go to Iraq, right? All right. Yeah, you All can right. yeah, meet her in Iraq. <laughs> All right? A rendezvous All right. in Kuwait. Yeah, good times. <laughs> All right. Hey, are you saying you're going to Iraq? Is that where you're going? Kuwait yeah. and Iraq, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. No, not all right. A beautiful, it's be interesting. beautiful it country. Be. It's yeah. beautiful people. Hey, and, uh, you know, good news, too. Uh, they, got, uh, they got the uh, Palestinian guy, and they got... Uh, Ariel Sharon and uh, what the hell's his name? Uh, Tapia. From Jordan. <laughs> yeah, Jordan. They got all the guys together. Apparently, they're going to hammer out this whole Middle East thing. Mm-hmm. No problems over there anymore. <laughs> Palestinians and Jews. Uh, Jewish oh, he settlers. Have little faith. Saying, it's going to work out fine. It's, uh, no problems. They've, they've agreed. They've agreed on some things. I heard over them there. say good times. Yeah, good times. They met on, uh, on, a, on like a lawn. They shook hands. It's going to work out. Just. 
you know, like like they did you with Carter. The, you know what, though? Death. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, it's the same guy. Part of that, yeah. no, 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 part of that did work out, and that was Egypt and Israel, and no one believed they could live together. Yeah, listen, here's the thing about the Middle East. Uh, pack of horrible people all trying to live uh, on top of I, each other. You know yeah, of course, oh. they're going to fight. Of course they're going to fight. Uh, they want Don't to fight. Stereotype. That's not nice. I think it's all the. What do you mean? I, I, what do you mean? Stereotype. Do the math. It's all the trauma. The trauma they inflict on one another. And Whatever it is, they're breeds of dogs that like to fight. That's it. Is it stereotyping to say there's a difference between a Rottweiler and a, a Golden Retriever? Is that stereotyping? That's dog stereotyping? No. It's a na- one's a nastier breed. That's yeah, but what not that, all Rottweilers are bad. <clears throat> not all of them. Just a much, much, much higher percentage. Than Drew, Labradors, help me out here. a much higher percentage than Labradors, let, and that's all dig. it takes. Let him dig. It, um, it, th- that's not uh, all the same people. It's all the same. It's all the same. Middle East. It's all the same people. No, they'll be fine. They'll get right along over there. Yeah, those will be great. Look, they'll blow up a few more things, <laughs> and it'll go on forever. It's, it keep going on because everyone's nuts over there, right. and they're yeah, they're and they like to fight. The last they like up. they like to fight. That's all right. Just admit you like to fight, and everyone blow each other up. That's fine. You just fence off the whole place. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Wow. Dogs right there. That's no Labrador. Pat? Oh, my God. <laughs> Pat? Hello? You're 20. What happened there? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, what happened? Across the street with Bargain. Uh, I just wanted to call and let you know that I took one of those internet IQ tests. Before. Yeah. Yeah, can and you beat 91, Tuts? I don't think so. It said that I got a 121. Oh, but nice. then I took the test again, and I changed all my answers, and it still said I had a 121. See how good those tests so, are? Yeah, it, they're really wonderful. They, they knew exactly what your IQ was without, <laughs> even, even with you trying to cheat. I all right. Psychic IQ tests. All right. The internet's come a long way, so I just want to let you know, you know. Yeah. So firstly, I think you're a lot smarter than, you know, Hey, listen, I'm I'm pretty happy with my 91. <laughs> I got no problems with that. It could have been lower. Let's be okay, honest. Great. Could have been into the 40s. <laughs> Pat? My friend called in the other night, and uh, she forgot to tell you she loves you. Mm. So she just wanted me to tell you now. Very important. Yeah. Whatever. This is my new way of going through life. I just uh, tell I get myself a windbreaker. It says 91 IQ on it. People are nice. They're forgiving. <laughs> you're, you're, you, people telling me they love me, forgetting about that. What kind of dogs were fighting next door? Um, I think they're white labs. Aha! I told you. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> those, aren't, those aren't the You're nasty. screwing my story. Exactly. How dare That's you, me. Pat? All right, so you come in, you call up, you rub your uh, 121 in my mug, <laughs> and now now you bring your lab thing up and screw my example with Leanne up? I'm, I'm just a horrible person. I'm sorry. No. Adam, uh, maybe maybe you need horrible. to take another IQ test, like another random one, just to kind of sort of... See right, what else right. there is out there. Kind of do a few of them, maybe. There's a few different ones out there. Mm-hmm. Well, Leanne's actually feeling sorry. I know everyone feels sorry. I, I am. True. Who, who thinks they're a genius more than I do? <laughs> well, you know anybody? I haven't noticed that the recent objective data has changed your opinion any. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah. You're 25. Uh huh. What's up? Uh, well, first of all, I'm a special ed teacher and interpret IQ tests every day. So mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. You are just fine. <laughs> 91. That's nice of her to say. And she's a special to, ed compared teacher. Compared to her special ed <laughs> students, nice. Adam, you're, you're doing special. great. Yeah, what, Adam, what, what special. Was, what's an average special ed number? Special ed number? Yeah. Mm, 70, 80. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got wow. 11 on those kids, pal. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. Awesome. Read it and weep, Run kiddies. for president. Yeah, and against my better judgment, I love special ed on cranky anchors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I would never say that professionally. I want to go to Hawaii. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah. All right, so. But you I hear that? Mid-80s question. as opposed to very low 90s. Mm-hmm. Right. Big difference. Big right. difference. Big difference. Huge. Well, you did have some special ed issues. It's a huge chasm between, let's say, 86 and 91. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a whole different room in the school. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And the bus is much longer. Much longer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Sandra, what's going on? Um, all right, well, I just have a question. I mean, I hear calls all the time about, you know, people who are really abused and now have sexual problems. Yeah. And I wasn't abused or anything like that. I just had a bad first sexual experience. And now I'm having trouble enjoying sex. And so I'm just wondering if it's something that seems as mild as that can affect me now. How old were you? Uh, I was 15. Yeah. yeah. How old was the guy? Uh, he was 17. Hmm? 
And what was bad? I mean, other than you didn't enjoy it, maybe it was yeah, uncomfortable. Did, yeah, I didn't want to. And we, I mean, it wasn't rape or anything like that. But it was, we'd gone out for a year and he just really, you know, for lack of a better phrase, laid into me about, you know, oh, you know, you're not doing this and you're not doing that and I'm not happy. And and um, so finally I just said, fine, okay, go ahead. And, you know, it was painful. And go it wasn't, ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Is that a different than the yeah, but, female interpretation? Uh, okay, so you're 15, mm -hmm. a little young, but not by love line standards. But, and but possibly traumatizing, right? Possibly, but you went out with a guy for a year. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a long time at 15. Yeah, right. but again, yeah. It, but she may have been a 15 year old that really wasn't ready for this. I, yeah. I, uh, I do agree with that, but it shouldn't screw you up for sex for, you know, I mean, it's been 10 years. Well, it makes me wonder if she has sort of a post-traumatic stress reaction. In other words, had something previously sort of set you up to be sensitive to trauma. No, I mean, uh, not that I know of. I mean, I don't and I'm not talking about necessarily overt sexual I mean, like, abuse. Yeah. Parent die, something right, like that. Right. No, no, nothing like that. And no. then that kind of activates it again? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, listen, Sandra. Uh-huh. Couple thoughts. Okay. Um, Maybe you're just one of these people that ain't into sex that much. I know yeah. it sounds uh, overly simplistic, but I mean, first off, do you, how much do you like guys? Uh, a lot. You do. <laughs> okay, and you, you and you're attracted to them, and you. Oh yeah. But you, oh, yeah. You, you've and never I get, you've. I get turned on and everything. Do you have successful relationships? Yeah, I, actually, I'm married. Yeah. yeah. And it's good. And it's good. And you've never, but you've never enjoyed sex. No, well, what it, I get turned on, and I can have orgasms, but it's like when we actually get to the sex, I'm like, oh, okay, hurry up. I want to get this over with. Is it like, you, like you're anxious? Yeah. Yeah. It is like post-traumatic stress, right? But also, also there's an, an establishment of like sometimes you, 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 know, you know, like when there's a word you decide you can't pronounce, and then you mispronounce it three times, and then that's it. It's, it's over. Mm -hmm. it, it, you think about it every time yeah. it comes up, it, and you it, just mispronounce it in advance. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like that's what uh, Sandra's doing with sex, in, in a sense. It's almost a phobia, a little phobic of it because of that original... Yeah, trauma. it's like it's like you had a rough outing the first time. It wasn't rape, it wasn't full-on full abuse, but it was a bad outing. And then you fixated on it, and then you decided each and every time it was going to be bad, and lo and behold, it is. Yeah. Do you drink? No, no, no. I thought that's what you recommend for her. Oh, yeah. Booze it up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does help. Relax a yeah. little. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Go go into your next encounter with, uh, hey, I'm with a guy I love. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself. What I'm does your gonna... husband say? Uh, he he worries a little bit. I mean, he's very sexual and he's very attractive. And I'm, like I said, I'm always, you know, talking about sex and I want to have sex with you. And then I just can't do it. Wow. So... All right. Booze it up. A couple of wine coolers and some... Uh, there was a movie little... like that. What? W what was it? I don't remember the name of it. I think Na Natasha Hensridge? Kinski. No, no, no. A long time ago, and a guy like loved her so much. In the movie, I don't remember because it was so long ago, but like he couldn't make love to her. He loved her so much. It was uh, like weird that uh -huh. he, when it came time to actually physically doing it, uh, he couldn't. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. yeah. That was the adventures of uh, Gay Gaiman. Because <laughs> she's hot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's see another yeah. guy in the 91 Club come up with... Gay Gaiman is my gay name. It's good. Yeah. Very creative. That's good, right, Drew? That's 120. That's thinking on your feet. Ooh. Very that's, creative. That, that, that's, you uh, and all the special people. That's, uh, yeah, that's like one, one, one uh, high teens, low 20s. That's where you got to be to come up with that kind of stuff. Leanne Tweeden is our guest tonight. She's uh, currently the uh, host of uh, 54321 on uh, Fox Sports Net. We will uh, take ourselves a uh, little break. We'll be right back. Love line. Okay, wait, wait. wait. Oh, oh, my, yeah. my hair. My hair. Oh. We'll be right back. Love line. Love line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Call Love Line at 1 800 Love 191. Live 105. Alternative. San Francisco. Go. Go. Hey everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. -E Leanne Tweeden is our guest tonight, host of 54321 on Fox Sports Net. Drew? Just, just looked up a site. It said it should take average IQ. This, these online tests should take about 12 minutes. 12 minutes. <laughs> All right, what'd I tell you? It took me. 25. Now, is it a right. question like, you know, check A or check B for any question? 30, 32 questions, 12 minutes, it says. 
32 questions, uh, 12 minutes. I mean, is it multiple choice, or do you have to actually fill in an answer? No, it's just it's just A or B, pretty oh, much. Okay. Seemed like you'd have a 50-50 shot of getting something right. Drew, are you going to take one? Yeah, Drew, go take one. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Who needs you? We don't know you're gone. <laughs> Show's better when you're not here. Do it? Yeah, take Anderson form. wants me to do it. Anderson says yes. Yeah. And it... Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, that, that's a, I'll here's tell you. the thing. You can't break it up, right? You can't yeah, put so on with pause. Five, five minutes left in this segment, I'll go do it. I'll try to do it in nine minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Drew, you've been yeah. taking Show tests off. your whole life. You no, can do that. Out. Twelve minutes from right now, we're back. Show off. We are? All right. Anderson's saying 12 minutes from now, we uh, come back after, after the break. Yeah, you can go ahead and take it, Drew. All right. Ooh, it's Drew's, Drew's wait, running wait, could, to go take get, an IQ test. Can we get a little test. mood lighting again now that you're gone? Yeah. The second time he's left us when I've been here. Yes, he does. Yeah. Taboo, too. He knows how to please in every detail. We're singing about a gentleman who is not only having sex with his sister, but with his mom as well. Then you'd ever imagine and do it with style. He does it with me. Oh, yes, he does. His name's Junior. Have you seen Taboo 2? Um, I'm afraid not. Great not movie. Not part of my collection. Great movie. Yeah, here's, here's a good line. Well, maybe you did, but you don't. That's where I do a whole body movement thing. He only reveals what he wants you to see and then shows it all. And when he does, he satisfies me. It's unclear whether it's the mom or the sister who's singing here. He also has a girlfriend he's doing, too. Here's a big crescendo. Big crescendo here. You'd want him, too, if you only knew. Yeah. Thank you. And you're still married? Yeah. <laughs> God bless her. Taboo, too. I'll tell you, it was the best night of my life. Uh, John from System of a Down was here. I found out he had Taboo, too. I hadn't seen this movie in 15 years. I remember you told me that last time. He actually called in, remember? And he said he had the copy of the tape for you or whatever. Yeah. Drove over, that his, night? Yes. Drove over to his house in Van Nuys and went and got it. That's how committed I am. Lovely. Dave? Yeah. You're 23? I am. So Drew's taking the IQ test. Uh, I mean, good luck beating 91. <laughs> Let's be honest. And he said, he goes, nah, I'll do it in nine minutes. Yeah. That was a little rub, I think. He, he's a fast reader. He likes to make fun of me just because I don't read. But uh, I say that's not the only uh, test of intelligence, your reading speed. Dave, what do you say? Very true, very true. Uh, I just finished up a psych course, so I just thought I'd give you a little insight on your test. You're, mm -hmm. you're dead center. I mean... Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. 100, 100 is the, the average score, but it goes to one standard deviance, which is 15 points either way. On That's the right. That's right. So 85, nothing wrong with Man, that. Everybody likes exactly. that curve. Yeah. Just two, to, just to make you standard, feel okay. Two standard deviance either I way determines you. whether you're, you're overly smart or in the retarded stage. <laughs> well, when, when do I get down Special to... Ed. I mean, I'm a good solid nine points away from retarded, right? Uh, 70. 11, when, I think. When they determine, yeah. Oh, no. I thought she said 71 to 80 or something. And, all right, all right, you know, so I'm up you're there. You're solid 91. 91. So in there, man. All right, Dave, thanks a lot, buddy. No problem. Nothing wrong with that. People make a big deal out of triple-digit IQs. I don't got anything to prove, you know what I'm saying, baby doll? First off, I got the look. You know what I mean? Mm. What do I need my brain for? Look at me. Look at the look. I'm looking. I got the look. <laughs> You know what look I got is the that, look? Adam? I'll Just describe you. everyone to everyone your look. Ow! My look is uh, <laughs> kind of young, kind of wow, kind of hip, kind of now. <coughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah, I got a good right. look. And the next thing is, I got my own style. I got my own attitude. You know, you see, I, I wear the I wear the uh, muck luck boots with uh, no socks and the pants I wore for three days in a row. That's my and thing. the beard you've worn for three yeah, days in a row? A little, the little, shirt you've worn for three days Little growth. A little growth gone. Nothing wrong with that. I got mm -hmm. my own style. I got my own, uh, it's what, what you call flair, panache. That should be a word on that test. <laughs> I know what that means. Eric? Yeah. You're 28? That's me. What's going on? Well, I'm considering getting a vasectomy, but um, what I wanted to know is a little bit more about the uh, male birth control pill. Yeah. We don't know uh, that much about it. I'm speaking for Dr. Drew since he's out uh, <laughs> taking the test.
Well, you got a good IQ score, so I trust you. Yeah, well, like I said, most doctors, eh, I think in the high 70s, low 80s probably. So you're talking to a, you're talking to a 91-er over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, as far as a male birth control pill goes, they, they've been working on it for a long time. They're getting closer, They're doing some tests in England or something like that, the last we heard, and uh, nothing available yet here in the United States. And I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to lead to more pregnancies. And I'm using my superhuman oh. brain because guys are going to say they're on the pill when they're not. Uh, you see but what, what I'm saying? Are you, are you, do you want to be on the male birth control pill because you don't want to put on a condom every time? Well, no. I, I mean, I don't you mind married? putting on a condom. It's just that I have a latex allergy, so it, it makes buying them much harder. Because don't they make yeah, sheepskin you, ones yeah, or something yeah. or natural yeah. skin? I don't know. Well, they... They do, but they're twice the price. That's the thing, you know. And so well, I listen, have, Eric, oh, come on, <laughs> Eric. How often are you getting laid? Twice a year? Oh, it feels so, like it. Yeah. So, at, at an extra forty cents a pop, what's that? Do you rather pay twice the price for those than to have AIDS or a venereal disease? That's well, right. You know what? I AIDS mean, really. Cost? Actually, that's not really my big concern. My big concern is that um, I have a previous uh, a child from a previous relationship in which my condom broke. All right. Mm. All right. And, do you, so you're not currently in a relationship. I am. You are. So why don't you get her on the birth control pill? Well, she was on it before, but it was uh, having some weird adverse effects. Well, she oh, should change it up. She should get Talk it to your doctor. Get it adjusted. Yeah, she should be able to dial that in. I right, tell her to dial it in, Eric. Just dial it in, huh? Yeah. Well, look, you guys are having a relationship. You want to have frequent intercourse. The uh, condoms aren't working well for you. Plus, you've got a condom kid. Already, yeah. so it's really it might take a little work, but kind it's of bad work. luck. She needs to go back to her doctor and, and get her uh, get it, it adjusted. There's many different types. That's all. Mm, take it's a little like Vicodin kind of a... tonight. Take right, some codeine, true, true. smoke a little heroin. No, true. Please, please focus on the test. Focus now, buddy. Leanne Tweed in here tonight from uh, Fox Sports Net. We will uh, take a quick break. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here's the deal. Looking to hook up? Call the Dateline. Sick of wasting time with the wrong person? Call the Dateline. One call is all you need to make. Call the Dateline. 1-877-889-DATE. You know what I'm saying out there? Adam and Dr. Drew will be right back on Loveline. 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 With Adam Cool and Dr. Drew. Loveline. Alternative. San Francisco. <laughs> phone number. It's Love Line. Phone number is uh, 1-800-LOVE-191. Leanne Tweeden is our guest tonight. She's the uh, super foxy broad who's on 54321. That's on Fox Sports Nets. Uh, Fox Sports Net. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Drew went into the next room to take his IQ test. And then we went and paid him a visit during the break, and I thought he was at the bottom of the test. No, he still had to scroll down. I saw that right as I was running back over here. Oh. Hmm. There was like 30 questions or something? I thought he was on like 25 or something. No, he still had a few more to go. All right. Well, when he, uh, it looked like the same test uh, I scored a uh, stellar 91 on earlier tonight at home. So uh, Drew will come in here and we'll uh, compare numbers. But like I said, good luck. Uh, Leanne is uh, going to be uh, heading off to uh, the Middle East to uh, say hi to the troops. She is showing Amen. me, showing me uh, what she signed for the boys. Five, six uh, different patriotic pictures, mm -hmm. all in her underpants, <laughs> which it's is like uh, delightful. Bikini. <laughs> bikini. Very tasteful. Very Get nice. Get your knees, scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Land of the free, home of the brave. How long That's do you right. how long do you uh, stay there when you go on these USA I'm, trips? Usually, it's about two weeks, but this trip particularly will be about five days. And what 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 besides like autograph signing and sort of touring areas? Is there anything else you do there? No, that's about it. But I mean that that consumes your whole day. There's so many thousands of troops over there that you get to a particular base and you get up first thing in the morning. You you go eat and then it's off. Basically, well, where do you where do you thousands. stay when you go out in the uh, theater that way? Well, that's good. You know that word. Uh, when I went to Afghanistan and Oman baby. and Pakistan, Come on. I know a lot of words. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Ooh, ninety-one mm -hmm. IQ. I remember. Mm -hmm. um, we stayed on base. We stayed in a DV tent, designated visitors' tent, and we showered with 
the rest of the girls and the guys that were with us showered with the guys and nice i mean it was it was very yeah you know we they were must, we were must, in they must have they must have to keep like an mp standing at the foot of your bed the uh, in afghanistan time. we had two 24 hours on us yeah yeah you want some uh, i think they were more worried about us getting out and roaming around afghanistan because it was still kind of dangerous around that area so yeah. they didn't want us kind of roaming they were worried <laughs> about un, un, unexploded landmines they're worried stuff. about drunken jarheads raving you so they're worried about <laughs> drew you took the test 120. Uh, Uh-oh. Testing, I, what is it? Here. 120. Did that mean you get you I got, got every question right? I don't know. No, no, no listen. Like 160, I, I got horrible uh, news. Okay, I got okay. horrible news. My wife got 121. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's bad good. news for you, too. That's good. But She's smart. What, she's borderline retarded. What no. are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, smart. she married you, right? <laughs> no. Uh, she's not. <sighs> she's, uh, she's all right. I, I but, figured I'd be about 120. That's about no, all right. I, I, I'm just telling you, my, my wife... Drew, if your wife scores better than uh, you and me, then 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 there's going to be real. I trouble. got a question, Drew. What do you yeah. think about the IQ test? I mean, some people might not be as smart as others, and they're successful. No. I mean, what is that no, to we base just, what on? We were just talking about this during one of the breaks. Is that is that a and Drew, lot? That's a short twenty nine points. You did better than me. That's you know that's almost nothing. nothing. I mean, nothing. If, if that were a football game, that'd be a very close game. No, One, that's really I mean, only it's, fifteen it's, points, right? Because or fourteen points because you get the fifteen, you get the. Extra 15 I'm just saying, the if back you're, end. you're playing a football game and the score's 21 to 50, that's a close game. You know what I'm in saying? In college yeah. ball? Well, yeah, or baseball. Oh, in, in yeah, arena football. Arena. Come on. All right, go ahead. Um, there's a lot of controversy about what IQ means. Mm -hmm. And there's more and more emphasis being placed on EQ, emotional. Ah, we got to take one of those element. tests. And, there, and I was telling Adam, I said, if, if they had had a, a spatial sort of test, I mean, I'd get a zero. And he would get a very, very high score. He can, you know, he can don't, create don't, things and build things. Don't like patronize me. No, true. it's true. Don't patronize. Uh, I, yeah, um, so it's it's, it's not patent. entirely clear what we're what we're looking at, and how much does education bear come to bear on it versus some other kinds of and experience. Functions. And I, I was talking talent. to a group of very, very successful businessmen, and one of the guys pulled me aside and he goes, um, "You know, when you're talking to these guys, you got to be really clear. Give them ten points because they all have ADD, and they all got C's in college." And uh, we have a saying in our organization that the B's work for the C's and the A's teach. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wow. What do the D's do? They do radio. And what are the professors? Thank you. Teachers Thanks. of the teachers? Thanks. Teachers. Kimberly? Yes. You're 29? Yes. What's up? Um, I am 36 and a half weeks pregnant. Mm hmm. That's and four years. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't enjoy sex at this point in time. All right. 36 and weeks. All right. I <laughs> interestingly, some women at that at the end of the pregnancy they they get very aroused. The pressure. Yeah, you know there. what I hear that it, the, the, between that and it helps to induce labor with someone. It's one of that God's true? great jokes. One of well, he's laughing, funny? laughing about that one still. Yeah, yeah. I, very I'm very uh, interested in it. It's just when it comes time to it, it's just like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. Because like a big turnoff. Um, well, I think maybe part of it's because I get so close and I can't orgasm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, but she's uh, she's she's almost due, right? How mm -hmm. many months? How four many weeks. weeks are you pregnant? Thirty-six four, and a half. So, so four more and weeks. I only have like, three, three weeks. Left. My girlfriend has about two, and she's just ready to get it out. Yeah. Well, I mean, the yeah. point is, is, okay, so you don't want sex the last couple of weeks of your pregnancy. I was Fine. Wondering about the safety of using a vibrator. It's fine, provided you don't have a complicated pregnancy. I mean, if they're not worried about preterm labor. That's right. I think uh, no, I think you make that. your kids stutter if you do that, though. Mm -hmm. There's that. There's that. Of course. Yeah. Are you saying you think you'll climax when you have a vibrator, so you feel well, better I, and you feel relieved? I was hoping that that would not happen. not frustrated anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to go chew ice or something. All right. But uh, I I didn't know about the safety, and I. It's you're right. fine. It's all right. You're fine. I'm Kid, fine. You're not having any preterm labor. No, yeah, no, I'm fine. not having any problems. No, should be fine. Complications. Yeah. There's a uh, mild Down syndrome that occurs with uh, women that use a, uh, uh, but this is more the C and D cell batteries that causes it. Yeah, it's not yeah. not the little pen light ones. Oh. So, not, so you have to use a small one. Not use the, the smaller rockets. ones. Yeah, the pocket rockets. Fine. <laughs> it's the it's the big Panasonic ones that you plug in. The ones <laughs> ones where the lights dim when you turn it up. <laughs> You know, it's like, Are the ones uh, attached to your car battery? Yeah, the one you yeah. put the jumper cables, the alligator <laughs> clips on. It's like the ones that look like, uh, you know what the prison looks like when they fry someone in the electric chair and see all the lights getting yeah, in? Yeah, flutter. I, I kind of think that's a movie thing. <laughs> I, 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 I got to believe if you're going to pump, you know, 
hundred thousand for added volts drama. for somebody, you just go ahead and break down, and put another circuit in. You know, you're like, really? Should should the whole prison dim? Blink, blink, all the lights. <laughs> <laughs> like everything's on one. Uh, you build a prison, you put everything on one breaker. Some, some the warden fires up his hot plate. The whole place goes out. <laughs> Got to shove some foil mm-hmm. in there. All right. Yeah. All right. That's called artistic license. Chloe? Yeah? You're 18? Yeah. What's up? Okay. I was just wondering because um, I think probably a little while ago uh, I took the morning after pill. Mm-hmm. And my period came like a week and a half early. And um, I was wondering about that because it, it hasn't been like normal. It's sort of been like light and not like all the way. Like I'll start to bleed and then like I'll stop for like a day. And then it'll start it, again. And it's so like, this is your normal period now occurring on the month following the month you took the EC? Well, actually, it came... I've, been, I've had it for like seven, eight days now, like on and off. But this and is the normal time in which you would be getting your period? No. No. It's, it's a r- way, way early. Way like early. I usually shouldn't be getting You're it. You're not having your period. You're just having some mid-cycle bleeding from the, from the emergency contraception. It's normal. And that, that's really normal. You're not it's not like birth period. control. A lot of people have spot bleeding throughout yeah, the month. Yeah. It's just... Why do women get so surprised by that? I, I, I have trouble sort of relating I, I to that. I have that problem sometimes. But, but when you fir- it, when it first happened, sure. was it like a, a huge shock? I mean, you're taking no, something... No, it, it made me mad. I don't want to deal with this. Right. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it would be almost the entire month. Mm. You know, and then talking about going back to your doctor and switching up and just finding but what works the, for your body. So you were taking the low-dose pill to begin with. Drew, let's not talk about the period as it pertains to Leanne. I think of her sort of filled with that. Uh, you styrofoam. think I'm like a Barbie doll and plastic and marshmallow? Nah, marshmallow. I like. I picture. Here's what I picture inside hey, of Adam, you. Guess what? I pee too. Mm-mm. No. You believe it? No. Mm-mm. Man, I picture you being filled with those uh, like styrofoam peanuts <laughs> and uh, fluff with, with just a little marmalade uh, spackled <laughs> in there, just for a little texture. You know what I'm saying? All right, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling. Hey, listen, I want to talk to Katie. We got Katie and Jerry over here. They've been on hold for a combined right. uh, four hours. Right. Katie? Yeah. You're 23? Yep. You have a uh, rape anniversary coming up? Yeah. Um, I just want to throw in one little thing, though. Mm-hmm. You guys are making me feel really, really good about my 47. 147 on the IQ. Yeah. You got a wow, 147? You go, girl. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's... Uh, it was one of those official ones, so not... Uh, that's that's marginally better in my 91. She's like, it was an official one, not one on the internet. Thanks, the guys. Web, no. Go, yeah. girl. And uh, so so uh, you got a 147. What happened with the rape? Well, it wasn't the emotional IQ. Um, uh, that was uh, 23 months ago to the date. Hold on. How um, many months? Almost two years. 23 yeah, months. Two years, uh, July 4th. All right. Okay, but that, that's a non that's a no anniversary, but go ahead. Um, last year, I had a lot of problems with it, and I had a lot of support last year. This year, it's just me. Well, what happened with the rape? Um, it was a first date kind of thing, and... I said yes to certain things, and I okay, kind of... So this is, again, back to the idea of a post-traumatic stress reaction, a reactivation of something else. Yeah. So what happened, what happened when you were younger? Um, I don't, I don't know. It's been hypothesized that something might have happened. That's, that's the only way this all works. It's the only way you can sort of figure out why you developed a post-traumatic stress disorder mm-hmm. from, from something yeah. that's awful, but, but it was a date rape, and most people sort of managed the feelings associated with that over a period of time. Well, was it, was it a brutal thing? No, but the thing is, um, fireworks set off really bad um, uh, Panic flashbacks. Attacks. Yep. Panic attacks, flashbacks. Panic attacks, flashbacks. That's mm-hmm. all post-traumatic mm-hmm. stress disorder. And the the flashbacks though they're not like. Hold on, did she say fireworks? Right, it was Fourth of July, so it's oh, I see. all at the same time. And I see. She has flashbacks um, now. But you said yes to certain things, right? You said so. You you went to a certain extent, and then he took it farther than you. When you yeah. said no, he still went on. Yeah, he didn't hear no the first thirty times. Well, then um, now, did you call the cops? Yeah, and yeah, the DA as well. I don't think I convinced the jury. That's it, kind of thing. Yeah. Because you said yes to a lot of stuff. Do you, th- you think that's why? 
I didn't say yes to that much. Oh, I, th- oh, I thought you said you agreed to some things. Come on, and then... Leanne. Don't put words well, no, in No, no, no. I thought she said that. Did you not I say did. you? Yeah, she I did say that. She's, she's 147. You can't corner her. <laughs> she's like a, a mental cat. <laughs> you understand? She's uh, elusive. The, the problem with the hallucination is, though, I can I, 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 like... Hold on a second. Feel, is your phone happening? screwed up, or are you, you just... Uh, what's going on with you? Is this a bad line we have, Katie? No, it's her. Cell phone. Sorry. Okay. All right. So here's the here's the deal. Uh, what happened to you recently is uh, something to look into, but it's not the main thing to look into. The main thing to look into is whatever happened to you recently, what that uncovered, what was there before, and uh, what that what caused that, what the origins of that is and was, and uh, that's probably going to take some therapy and some oh, exploration. Yeah. Oh yeah. So how about yeah, it, Katie? I've been told not to uh, try to get into that and just kind of. Move on. Try to yeah, but the problem is, is this this popped the uh, cap on it. Yeah, just I'm sure they didn't tell you just to move on. What they told you was, it probably is not useful to dig into the traumas of the past, but therapy can be useful. Now go ahead, go ahead, have some therapy. All right, because the idea is to keep you less reliant on these primitive mechanisms that have sort of taken over now, mm-hmm. and re evoking all the feelings of the original trauma doesn't do much except intensify some of those feelings. Drew, you, you got 120, she got 147. I don't think uh, yeah, but I guess, she should like, be you listening know, to Celebrating you. the anniversary every year is not going to make that better. No. Right? No. Mm-hmm. Jerry? Yeah. You're 21? Yeah. You want to know uh, how long uh, after a possible exposure to herpes it may uh, crop up? Yeah. We were just talking about this the other night. Yeah, it can be some very occasionally will happen the next day, but on average, you get a prodrome, some sort of aches and pains and things within a week or so, and usually about two weeks out, you get the rash. So, like, well, I didn't have sex with her. I just ate her out. Nice. Oh, yeah. That, that well, was, where did he go to finishing school? Break. He was Sir Walter Raleigh. I'm Here guessing was. somewhere in Europe. Yeah, I imagine. Switzerland, I bet. Switzerland. Yeah. Switzerland? Where'd you go to finishing school, Jerry? School. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a double-digit man. I can smell it. Triple, huh? Seventy? No, no. I'm thinking double. And what happened after this? Uh, after what? The eating uh, out. <laughs> uh, well, this happened early in the morning. I had to leave to go skiing. So, oh, of course, right? But how long ago was I this? He's rom- this was, and he's like, uh, this was during on wine too. He's so romantic. Yeah. Hey, baby. I gotta hit the slope. See you. Yeah. Thanks for the lick, but where's, I gotta bust some Where's mogul. my snowboard? Yeah. All and right. So, and so what happened after you left? Um, well, actually, I'm also calling for my friend because uh, she hooked up with one of my friends after I left. And Wait, so I wanted to. Is he talking about well, how long is it? in his mouth? Are you having sores in your mouth? No, I'm all not. Right, then who uh, cares? Forget it. Drew's always so what right. What was that all about? I don't know. No, he. he uh, you know I'm right. That's why I was not getting to those he calls. Is. He did it semi recently, and he wants to know if something's coming around the corner, mm-hmm. right? I mean, mm-hmm. let me just say, Jerry. Well, how long ago did you perform this on this woman? It was three months ago. All right. Well, then we're done. <laughs> Something would have shown up by now, Drew. I mean, what is the, what is the outside? If you if you got exposed mm-hmm. to herpes, and you were going to get herpes. Two weeks. It's two weeks, two weeks yeah. outside. But then once you get that, it never goes away. It right? keeps coming milder. The recurrences are typically milder, and they do sort of burn out over over years. They, the recurrences get further and further apart, okay. and eventually they stop. Heather. Yes. Hi. You're 23. No, I'm 27. That's right. That's what it says. What's up? Yeah. 20 old. Yeah. I was just calling because I was a school psychologist, and mm-hmm. I thought maybe I could help you guys. Actually, I have an IQ test here in front of me, so mm-hmm. I could ask you some, you know, 10-year-old questions. Or if you want to hit for some harder ones, I have some 14-year-old questions. <laughs> Adam, 14. there's your enabler. She'll read them to you. 14 is a little out of my range. I know. No, it's just like, you guys seem like teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Your voices are, like, old. <laughs> All right. Why don't you give me the uh, give me the first one, and uh, you can give Drew the second one, and give uh, Leanne the uh, third one. Oh, the fourteen year old one. Oh Lord. Well, okay, I won't start with the six year old questions because it's like how many. No, no, no. Uh, Listen, I I don't need the sixteen year old stuff. I want the ten year old stuff. Okay, ten year old. -old. Yeah, ten year old. Here we go. This Mm. is just general information. Mm -hmm. What's your name? What do you need to do to make water boil? Oh man, you got to get it angry. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. That's a joke know. answer. Come on now. Give okay. it up. All right. Um, All right. Well, there, there. This is my kind of test. Yeah, I know. Well, here. I'm on a roll. All right, you heat it. Yeah? You heat it. 
Put heat. Put heat in there. Okay, come on. Let me just do the next one. Two kinds of coins for me. What's that? What? Two kinds of coins. Two types of coins. Coins. Quarter, Hello? dime, penny. Oh, oh Nickel, name. Penny. Oh, just name them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah all right. Quarter, dime. Di- yeah, yeah. Dime and... Uh, People look into and it. And the much. half dime. What's that half dime? No, no. That was that was yeah. a vacant stare you saw. It's not a, a half dime. Stare. Half a dime. Five pennies. They got a name for it. Okay. All right. Let's go up to the 14-year-old questions. Okay. 14-year-old. Okay. This is a little harder. What yeah. does the stomach do? <laughs> Uh, you put the food in there. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it hangs over your belt buckle. I like the way she answered right. it, too. Very good, Adam. That would be very smart. Very good idea. I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like your body's Tupperware. That's right. That's right. right. You, oh put, you, put, next you take the food out of the freezer, put it into the microwave, and then you put it in your tummy, and it's yummy, yummy, yummy. Correct. Okay, okay. I can tell you're ready for a bigger one. Give me a tough one. All right. Um, what's water made out of? Oh, my God. That's uh, it's part uh, sugar and <laughs> spice. And everything nice. Yeah. Well, you, you want the, you want the, uh, the atom? atomic thing? Yeah. The technical, yeah. H2O, yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me ask yeah. you some really good questions, though. What? These are, these are my favorite ones, All right. think, actually. So um, I'm, i got to be doing better than 91 on the 14-year-old test. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Like so. You have very good verbal skills. And when, what, kind of, uh, what kind of school administers the IQ test? Because I don't you remember know, like, that. Every school does. Yeah. They all do now? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember well, taking them. you don't give it to every kid. Oh, you just but. give it to the Tardos? <laughs> Super yeah. tired and super so, smart. I want to hear the favorite questions. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, they, like these are my favorite ones. Um, what are you supposed to do if a boy much smaller than yourself tries to fight with you? You give him a give him a good ass kicking, or not if he's an Asian kid because he's got no karate. <laughs> you run. Chinese Japanese kid, you run. He's got them nunchucks. He's got those throwing stars. Mexican kid's probably got a gun or a knife, maybe zip gun. Black kid will take you out, but if it's a white kid. You kick his ass. All right? Right, right. All right. That's All right. definitely two points. Thank you. Again, I like Thank how you're thinking, much. right? Yeah. She likes my she likes my, my train of thought. I think you're right. All right. What are we doing here? We're, We're, taking, a break. We're taking a break. Taking a break. Heather, thanks for uh, calling. I appreciate that. I really feel like I've uh, salvaged my dignity with that. Yeah. Got that stomach question. I was right on with that. This Tupperware for the body. I shall remember that always. Mm-hmm. Leanne Tweeden is in the uh, studio tonight. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hello? Who is this? Uh, this is Loveline. 1 800 Love 191. Loveline will be right back. Loveline is brought to you by Trojan, America's most trusted condom for Love. Loveline. Loveline. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Love Alternative. San Francisco. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Leanne Tweeden is our guest tonight. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Leanne can be found on 54321 on Fox Sports West. All right. We're uh, 530. Weekdays. Yeah. yeah. It's on the and, net, so you can find it anywhere around and, the country. Uh, and also on the best damn sports show, period, which is uh, moving right along. I mean, I remember when it came out and it had, had a name that was... Uh, you know, controversial in the sense that people were like, "That's not the best damn sports show," and uh, it's part of the uh, everybody part of the trick. Everybody had their uh, it, the show had its mm. detractors, but uh, you know, it's been well, what three years now? So yeah, it's going on its mm. third, and uh, hasn't uh, shown wrong? shown any signs of slowing down. All right, where were we? You want to do something special on your wedding night? Have you ever licked his butt? <laughs> that Tom. would be uh, Tom Arnold, by the way. Let's uh, Maybe we should mm, play classy. That. That uh, <laughs> what the uh, woman we were asking about the Holocaust? No, no, no. Why? No, it was funny. Yeah, right. we, we didn't even have we'll that. How old was she? Hey. Ring. Here it is. Oh, <laughs> Ring. We have to set Hi, it up. How we you do? Have to set it up though. Uh, <laughs> Give me a little preface here. Uh, what ended up? What ended up happening is we had a stripper call the show. I think she was a stripper. Phone sex. Phone sex. Phone sex operator. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> and the guys were getting off too fast. And I said, uh, you know, she said, she couldn't make any money. How can I prolong this? Yeah, she made her money off minutes logged on the phone. And if the guy would shoot his wad in the first 45 seconds, she's not going to make much money. So I said, well, you know, maybe you're too hot. Maybe you're too Too good, too sexy, you know. 
And these women, they do, they do this. They describe themselves as, you know, six foot one, and they're Swedish, and they're, you know, got a nice big D rack on them. They're, you know, narrow at the hip. They're big on the bus, and they're totally, you know. And the guys are, like, and then they don't make any money. <laughs> so I said, you know what you ought to do? You ought to subliminally bring up uh, negative things that would kill the boner. So, so in other words, uh, you know, you, 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 you bring up the Holocaust, but don't start talking about it with them. Just, just slide it in, in between the sex talk. And she was like, uh-huh, And just sneak uh-huh. it in. Yeah, it'll, and, and that will kill his boner, and he won't even know why it's taking him longer. But, but if you was, can just sneak it in. It was a little quiet that in the line. Adam goes, uh, do you know what the Holocaust is? No. She no. didn't know what that was. Never. No. Because yeah. you heard of Stalin? No. She wasn't, Hitler? Yeah, yeah, Hitler, yeah. She wasn't familiar with the uh, subliminal... Either. The subliminal, yeah, was a term that she couldn't Right, so what I wanted to say is, like, what I want her to do is, is her to go, like, uh, hey, baby, what do you wear? AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> oh, man, I am so brain cancer. Hi. <laughs> you know, just just to sneak it in there. The subliminal guy, man. Subliminal. Subliminal man. Subliminal phone sex guy, operator. guy probably have a few beers in him. Ooh. He doesn't, like, what? He doesn't know why it's taking so long. Right. But, but anyway, so mm-hmm. uh, here's, so I said, look, you <laughs> You got to work in the Holocaust, and you have to do it fast. And you have, Okay. Well, I think that's about enough. Go so ahead. here's what happened. Here's how she did it. Bring. Oh, Tom Arnold Bring. here that night. Hi. How you doing? Ooh, hi. What's your name? I'm Sugar. Sugar. Who I'm Ace. Hey, Ace. Yeah. What are you wearing? Mm, well, I'm wearing a nice black garter. Mm-hmm. Mm, just thinking about the Holocaust right now. <laughs> <laughs> The best is Tom Arnold <laughs> and uh, us all losing. just laughing our asses off. <laughs> Play Tom Arnold laughing. I think we're Bring. going nuts. Wait a minute. It's at the Bring. end. Hi, how you doing? Oh, hi. What's your name? You guys got to fast sugar. forward to the end. Sugar. I'm Ace. Yeah, but don't cut it off because it yeah. really what it really cracks me up hearing him crack up. Well, I'm wearing a nice black garter. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Just thinking about the Holocaust right now. <laughs> 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 had a long build-up. That's why everyone went nuts. <laughs> oh, Where's the rest of it, Anders? You got cut off. Yeah, just I have it, at least. I don't have the whole show. Oh, Tom, you, Tom laughed like five minutes after Oh, that. you don't have Tom Arnold like laughing well, like, no, a, just like, the end, like right a madman? It just She's cracked like, oh, me up. Oh, I'm thinking Ooh. about the Holocaust right now. <laughs> just like a anti-Semite uh, Mae West. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> thinking about killing some Jews. Yeah, oh. killing some Jews. Why don't you come, you come over to my oven and see me, big boy? Why you come over to my oven and see me, big nose? Sarah? Drew, that was yes. You're 20? Yes, I am. What's up? Okay, <laughs> I am a uh, little history. I'm an ex-crackhead. Great. I was doing it for four years. I quit about a year and eight months ago. Yay for me. Mm-hmm. Good for you. And, um... I'm having a lot of problems now with sleeping. Um, I sleep fine, but I find if I'm not doing things during the day, I'm just, I just want to sleep. If yeah. I'm not out and around, I want to sleep. And I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. I lose my breath a lot during you, the day. You, you quit how long ago? Um, a year and eight months. Yay for you. And are you taking Yay! anything else now? Um, no, well, also when I eat, it's... Um, it, I just I get so full and I feel sick like I feel like I want to throw up. But I have you I had a medic? Have you had a medical evaluation? No. So no. it could be anything. I mean, we're just you know it's hard to even speculate what's going on here. Do, do you smoke cigarettes? Um, I quit about three months ago. Do you use any other drugs? No. Yay for I, you! I drink. Yay! And no prescription ju- drugs? No. Um, at a leave when I have a headache. All right. So it. Sarah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the the uh, the shortness of breath thing is a little freaky for a twenty year old. Oh, she was but, smoking cigarettes too. Yeah, but many of it not for a twenty year old. Yeah, she shouldn't be short of breath. I, and, I mean, unless there's some sort of panic attack or something well, that's going on. Yeah, it's but just, it's wanting to go to bed when you're not. Anytime you you don't have something in front of you is sort of depression usually. And, and people that do a lot of speed do end up injuring their brain. Do you have any memory problems? Oh, my God. I've yeah. got... Uh, oh. All right, all right, all right. The memory problems and the mood disturbance go together. And, okay. and that, is a res- that is a reflection of brain injury. So you, you may well need to be on an antidepressant to try to elevate those chemicals that are so severely depleted now. But that still doesn't explain everything that's going on with you. You need, you need a thorough medical evaluation. You need a lung exam. You need a chest x-ray. You need a cardiac evaluation. you got to okay. figure out what's going on here. I mean, it could be anything what's happening. 
like sleep apnea? Or- no, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, this this could be anything from AIDS to cancer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank sleep you. sleep apnea, interestingly, is not one of the things I'm thinking of. All right. So uh, anyway, go go get a workup. Go to the doctor. But uh, good for you for uh, quitting the uh, speed. All right. When you're doing crack for four years, I mean, does that? Oh, the crack. It, yeah. Well, crack or crank? Did she say? Oh, I, I thought, thought she, she said, said crack. crack. I thought she said crack. I thought she said she was a crackhead. What was it? Crank. Crank. Oh, crank. Crankhead. Oh, she said crankhead. And yeah. you normally don't hear crankhead. crankhead. Sorry. Yeah. No. All right. Good times, but baby. She, doll. She's not in recovery though. Interestingly. Now, does crank? Uh, yeah. Once it affects your brain, is it gone? Mm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, but, mm. you, you know, you're not Muhammad Ali. You can take, there's medication you can take and stuff and restore some uh, some of them chemicals, right? Not the memory problems. And the, and the depressions tend to be very difficult to treat and long term. No. Nah. Yeah. No, nah, it's not so bad. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. Hey, maybe no. they'll score a 91 too. Oh, I don't think they're going to get that low. To <laughs> <laughs> be honest with you. All right, you ready to uh, rock here, Drew? There you go. Let's uh, talk to Sharon. Sharon? Uh, it's Sharon. Sharon. Yeah, I was kind of looking at that, thinking that wasn't Sharon, but didn't have any, didn't have a <laughs> you B. You threw it out there. I didn't have a B. Uh, Plan yeah. B. You're 16. What's up? Yeah, I want to know why uh, when, like, I pee, I, like, pee in, like, two different directions. Hmm. Why that happens. Like, Bisexual. I one, don't know. One into the wastebasket and the other... Bidirectional. <laughs> into the magazine rack. Magazine rack, yeah. <laughs> That's um, what I do. That's why I don't take any chances. I pee in the sink now. I know. <laughs> well, maybe now. Or you can take a knee and get closer to the... Uh, Ooh, look at that. So See? grab grab a knee. Yeah, but why grab a knee when the, when the sink's right there, you know? All you got to do is, you know, st- steer clear of the toothbrush, yeah. which, I, which I do 65% of the time. you can sit down and do it like a girl. Well, it's hard because you usually have an erection when I'm around the house. <laughs> Mm. Is there like a medical explanation for that? Uh, Man, I was so impressed with that y- move. You're uh, the erection and the sink. <laughs> just two things that just truly, truly well, impressive. impressive, classy. Do you, do you yeah. have? Uh, how's the urethra doing? How's the uh, opening of the? Uh, I don't know, it seems like I have like two openings. I don't know. It's a, it's no, a, you do not. Uh, I mean, like one big opening, uh, the like the main urethra, and then the uh, smaller vent, like on a volcano, sort of. Yeah. The hell are you huh? talking no, about? Okay, yeah. but he's okay. Either he, somebody else put him up to this, and he thinks he's figured out why people get split stream, and he's trying to make it seem like he has that. But he was convincing he, himself that there's like two holes, right? Was, but he he was using the uh, volcano thing, which is you know the volcano sometimes will have an or if it's it's open down the side right, of the hill a little right. bit, which we have talked about. There as is it such a thing. To the penis. There is such a thing. Phimosis. Yeah. Doesn't sound like it's a uh, Sharon's problem because. No he would know why he had a split yes. stream if he had two openings. That's it's right. like mm. it's like calling up and saying, I can't get a steady stream out of my hose, but your dad backed over the nozzle yeah. and crimped, <laughs> yeah. crimped the brass end on it. You wouldn't be calling a hardware store and asking, why is the water coming out funny? The thing's right. got a ding in it. And the uh, split stream is a sign of urethral irritation, and your urethra kind of get kind of sticky at the end and inflamed, and they'll send stuff all kinds of directions. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, if you, uh, if you, if you uh, squeeze one out and then pass out and you don't urinate there'll be a little blockage in there the so next if you ejaculate morning. and then don't urinate right some guys get it right after ejaculation yeah well the, the initial the in- yeah. initial uh, that's, surge that's the, well isn't it don't, isn't it doesn't it take a extra few seconds for to get it going yes yeah. it can be a little tough yeah that's why in the mm-hmm. sink Interesting. The sink, mm-hmm. yeah. That's why Adam uses the sink. Yeah, and that sink, that's not the work of a 91-er. That's no, a triple digit. That's a that's 160. That's a tri- triple yeah. digit idea right there. Yeah. Saving water. Uh, I care well, about, that, I care that about the environment. that energy that, that, you, that taking a knee or, or having squatting to bend down the toilet. Even, flush even the toilet. having to like, bend down to pull up the toilet seat. I mean, oh, my God. God forbid a, to yeah. bend over at the waist. You just, just turn but, toward the sink. Me uh, whizzing out of my dead den window is not working out for me anymore, though. <laughs> why? You kill all plants? Killing, I got a, got a fern plant that's uh, <laughs> next to dead, and I realized when I got to my front door uh, this evening that this smell, when the wind's traveling the right mm, way, it's starting times. to build up that's in nice. there. Nice. Poor gardener. That's very nice. Jane? Uh, yeah, that's me. You're 22? Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, Jane, yes, all right. What's up? Um, I want, I've, so I've heard uh, doing it like in a hot tub or a pool does damage to the girl. True, false? Well, you, you're a little light on lubrication, but uh, if it doesn't hurt, Leanne, what do you think? Yeah, but I'm young. <laughs> you don't sound young. <laughs> well, I am. I am. <laughs> you sound nuts. 
Yeah, it's a little difficult to do it in water for women because you do lose lubrication. Well, I mean, I mean it's, okay, it's like this. I already did it, so I've heard that it does damage, like uh, endometriosis or whatever, from like the chlorine getting up in your system. Is that? Where did you hear about this? From <laughs> yeah. it's a lot, man. Uh, from have you ever heard of that Canadian retard um, Sue Johansson or whatever? No. No, but if she's a retard, I'd like to hang with her. I'm not asking her. you, Adam. I'm asking Dr. Drew. No, I'm not familiar with her. What, what, what has she done? Okay, Jane. Alleged Jane. Be quiet. Uh, I don't know. She has like a show on... She's like a sex expert. Oh, in yes. That one. That old lady? Not... Yeah, yeah. And she's called retard something? No. Mm-hmm. If, if that were true... Is it, this, her because, oh. Because well, she, everything she says is the opposite of what Dr. Drew says, and I believe everything Dr. Thank Drew Thank you. Says, she, she's not, not a her. medical doctor, and she makes comments... That she has really no business Pulling talking about. Out of the air. That's what she I thought. No that's idea talk what she's talking about. That's I, why I, I have never seen. Doctor. I have never seen a problem with. The, mm-hmm. Talk to many people and seen patients that do the hot tub thing. Never seen a medical issue from that. She hey. said that like. Hey Jane. Yeah. Listen to me for a second. Yes, sir. What's going on with you? You eat a lot of mushrooms. No, no. I've never done drugs. Never even smoked pot. Really. Really. Hey man, wow. neither have I. That's amazing. That's great. You're, well, Never. You're square Never even smoked baby. a cigarette, yeah. We couldn't chill. We couldn't hang. I don't drink. I'm we drinking hang. if that's what you sense. Hey, hey, uh, yeah, so Jane, what do you do for work? For work? I, uh, well, right now, I'm um, in college. Okay. So, Jane, you're really... Right now. No, no, she did that on purpose. I know, I know. Yeah. Jane, you're one of these... Tick through with this high IQ to... That kicks in like 10 seconds later. <laughs> Jane, you're one of these smart people that is super weird, right? Yeah. And it's, and it's like, it's going to be trouble because even though you, you, your brain functions very well, you're so weird, it never translates into a buck or a boyfriend or anything like that. It's such a curse, isn't it? Well, it is if you make it one. Yeah. So, so what do you, you got to stop being so weird. Well, hey. What are you going to do about that? Well, what are you going to do? That's why you make the big bucks. You tell me. Yeah, you can stop acting weird. All People right. don't have to know how insane you are. I, I'm drinking right now. That's why I even bothered to call the show. All right, baby doll. All right. Well, good times. Well, no, seriously. Okay. And have so, fun in that hot tub. Seriously, what? No, okay. Like, she said that because of the pressure or whatever, like, his, that the water gets, like, forced up into your, you know. Yeah, it's an, in- it's an interesting idea, but uh, of the millions of people that do this, never heard of one case. It's funny that so. she answered her own question, and she's still asking I know. She's so, like, I don't believe well, anything she said. I don't could. believe her. Yeah, but, but I, there, maybe there has been a, it's, it's, it reminds me of the business of somebody blowing into a woman's vagina and causing an air embolism and killing her. I did that <laughs> There is a case of that I having had that. happened. I did that. I was using Apparently. compressed air. I wasn't using for my real. mouth. For real, it, it happened. There's a, there's, there's a way of accessing the venous system in some women if under a certain amount of pressure and certain, you know, angle and whatnot. Yeah. And it apparently happened once. I've Any done killer. it. I've done mm-hmm. it. But you know what? It's still worth it. I'm that good. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Drew. <laughs> 91. You got to be good. You got to be good at oral when you're when you're toting around that 91 burden. Do you know what I'm I think saying? You have to be good at oral, period. You have to overcompensate. Yeah, but nice to be good at oral, but, uh, you know, you got a 161, 162 <laughs> IQ. You don't have to be great at oral. Obviously, there are other things you're good at. But you carry around that 91 windbreaker, you got to be good at oral. Mm-hmm. Thank God I am. Drew, tell Leanne how good I am at oral, even if I don't like it. <laughs> that's the sound it's going to make. You're good at receiving oral, I thought. Yeah, that's, I what, that's what I'm talking no, about. No, yeah, yeah. But Which you know, it, yeah. it is true, though, that intelligence is very sexy. It is. It said that be. about Drew last time. It can be, but watch, think so. watch how I receive oral. Watch how good this. <laughs> watch how good I am at this. I'm sorry if there's some confusion if you thought I was talking about giving oral. I was talking about receiving. A lot of guys talk a good game about how good they are at giving oral. But not many guys can receive it properly. Right. Watch this. Watch this. Just, you don't have to stay on your chair and stuff. But hypothetically, if you were performing oral on me, this is what it would look like. Watch this one. Wait, wait, you're losing. Wait, wait. wait, Concentrate. (laughs) Come on. I can't focus. Come on. I can't focus. I think we dim the lights. Yeah, there it goes. There he is. He's He's in the zone. Isn't that impressive? Huh? Man, time. I've never <laughs> seen anybody receive it like you, Adam. Yeah, yeah. Impressive. And like I said, any Tom, Dick, or can Harry can do a case study on this because I mean that down was... on a woman. But how many people can properly receive oral? Mm. You know what I mean? No, uh, no, no whacking on your head with a roofing hammer. 
No, uh, no trying to shove a uh, carpenter's all in your eardrum. No uh, squirting lighter fluid on the back of your blouse and lighting on fire. Just, just slow, subtle movements mixed in with a sprinkling of groans. Watch one more time. Hold on a second. Let me focus. I, I, I get a little overwhelmed. Take over the show. Not, Let I'm me focus. Sure, I'm not sure I can see another, another no, uh, no, no, I'm gonna rendition. It. It's I tough. Know. Sprinkling of moans. Uh, we got to say that your concentration's been on. Look, you got to concentrate, dude. Come on. Yeah, okay. All right, ready? Yeah, here we and go. go. There we go. Huh. Uh, oh yeah. I know what the ladies like. Yeah. They like giving me oral. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> hmm. See, see if any. There's the, that little twitch in the oh yeah. Yeah. Same time. See, see if the troops over there in your beloved Iraq would hold still for oral <laughs> like me. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Leanne Tweeden is uh, here tonight. She is uh, one of the number one chicks at watching me simulating receiving oral. <laughs> she did a good job. She did a yeah, great job. Excellent, excellent. I was very captivated. I was a captivated in, audience. It's a feather in your cap, baby doll. Take a quick break. We'll be right back. Love line. 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Love, love, love line. Love line. With Adam Cool and Dr. Drew. Love on all five. Alternative. <laughs> San Francisco. Hey, 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 it's Loveline. That's a song that's playing when I uh, stroll into the trendy club. Mr. 91, they call me. Walking in slow motion. Wearing my shades. I have to hold the down. Jacket slung over my shoulder. Ladies checking me out. Buzzing. Word on the street is he's double digits. Hi, double digits, ladies. Yeah. What? What is this? This is this is how it Leanne doesn't pay attention. She doesn't understand this is how you're actually viewed by the public. This is what they hear? Yeah. How dare you? You people will never know the real me. You look at me as the clod that makes jack off jokes on the radio. But you don't know that behind that clod there's a clod that makes jack off jokes at home. <laughs> And not on the radio. And has a 91 IQ. And has a uh, 91 IQ. Chantel? Hi. You're 17? Yep. What's up? Um, okay, I have a boyfriend that's um, a little bit older than me. He's mm -hmm. 22. Well, he'll be 22 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, he gets kind of controlling and mad, and I don't really know what to do about him. Mm -hmm. Controlling in what way? Like... I can't go certain places with certain people that he doesn't like or doesn't know. Or How old is he? 22. Mm -hmm. Sort of a 19, 20 year old guy's MO. Yeah. It's their thing. Is he, is he ever done anything <laughs> violent? Um, no, he just yelled. And then, like, one yeah. time we were on the phone talking, and he, like, threw his phone across the room. Yeah, mm. that's uh, punching walls and uh, throwing phones. It's, uh, you have like hissy fits, like tantrums. And I, yeah. I and, and, but, but here's the question Is this. Is this is there any uh, merit for this? Did you ever get caught cheating? Do you, oh, no. You don't have He's been cheated on before. He, He's been cheated on He before. has. Does yeah. he cheat? Has he cheated? No. And uh, you, uh, when you go out with people, it's your girlfriend's not like your ex-boyfriend. Oh, no. Like, I hate my ex-boyfriends, but... Okay. Well, here's the thing. and I, I do believe this, but uh, Leanne can weigh in on this. I've been trying to tell Drew to use this on his wife since I've known him, but he won't do it, which is... I do have this theory that people, when they, they, they can start to spin out a little, they, can, they, they, get, um, they get accusatory and they get jealous. And, re and when you backpedal, it gives them more momentum. They start spinning out a little more. Like, you start apologizing for things you didn't do, yeah. and the next thing you know, they feel empowered and then more out of control. Like, maybe you're doing something, you're apologizing. I think sometimes people want you to go, listen, stop it. I went out with my friend. We had a we had a uh, soda and we came home. That's it. If you Relax. don't believe me, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now yeah. you got a problem over here, but it's not my problem. Right. And if I was cheating, I wouldn't be in this relationship because that's not the way I work, and you right. know it, and I know it. I think people want you to sort of snap their underpants a little bit, wake them up, and sort of just it's, it's like tug on the chain well, a little. Kind it's, of the Chris slap on the face. Well, but so it's, it's also it's containing their their out of control feelings. Yeah, it's containing it for them. But right. as as a guy, as a guy who who remembers what it was like to be nineteen and go through a girl's uh, yearbook and go, who is this dude you went to the prom with two and a half years ago? You right. know, I would have appreciated if she said, "Hey, listen, that guy, I don't know where that guy is. Who cares? It's about you and me now, right. and get over it." 
What do you What do you think about jealousy? Me? No, no, Doctor. Doctor. It, 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 it can mean lots of different things in lots of different situations. Right. I, I, young males are prone to feeling threatened really easily. So sure. that testosterone does that. To now, them. whether it's it's ju- you think that's just from the testosterone or from justified, you know. I think more often than not, it is a biological thing that pushes them in that direction. Sure. Also, young males are very insecure. They don't feel worth somebody being committed to them. So the assumption right. is they're going to leave. Yeah. Right. Uh, and so th- if you're going to leave, he's always going to have this anger towards you and you're going to be cheating yeah. on him. Then if, you, if, gonna... if, if, if an individual's had abandonment experiences, then they sort of get that way and attempt to allegedly avoid it, but end up precipitating the same problem, right. get, making somebody Like you uh, said, they just them. keep spinning out of control. Yeah. yeah. Guy, guys at 19 just do everything that, that is wrong when it comes to relationships. So I do think women need to tell the guy in no uncertain terms that this isn't happening. It's their problem. They got to get over it. And if they don't listen to that a couple of times, feel free to move on. And you're young, honey. Yeah, to move yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Find somebody that'll be nice to you. Don't get into that game that, no, baby, no, baby. I was with Sheila and we were at a movie. I'll show you the ticket stub. You know, you start getting it's, into that. And then right. it's like as if you did do something. You you're not, to. yeah. You're don't not, dance. Yeah, don't dance with them. This isn't you, you. You've not you've not been hauled into court for anything. There's no body. There's no victim. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah. You're 16. Yep. What's up? Um, I refuse. Like, I cannot get oral. Like, I nothing. I don't get off of oral, and I don't get off of giving oral. And I just. Mm. Yeah, you would get off off of giving oral if you saw the way I receive it. <laughs> that is a turn on. Yeah, you've got to see it. Trust me. Yeah. It's oh, impressive. Baby. Sometimes sometimes I take my pants all the way off. Oh, instead of just to the ankles? I'm just a zipper, just using the fly. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Why? She likes that. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes there's a mess. I'll take my pants that out of my and knees. The sink. Yeah. I'm just yeah. overwhelmed tonight. Hot. All right. So, Amanda, yeah, that's fine. You're 16. Yeah, yeah, relax, man. That's fine. That's how yeah, it works. like, my boyfriend and, like, I don't want to, like, disappoint him or anything. And, mm, and, like, what? And, like, yeah. All right. Well, do you, you don't want to disappoint him because you don't want to give him oral sex? I just, because I've done it before, and, like, the first time I did it was, like, a really bad experience. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's uh, the way it is with most things in life, like work and school and most sports, you know. I mean, you do get better at things. You do learn to enjoy things. Sure. Yeah, look at me. I didn't like booze when I was 14. Can you imagine? I won't even try it with another guy. What happened the first time? Yeah, what was so traumatic? I, like, almost choked and, like... The guy was, like, holding my head and I couldn't breathe. Oh, boy. Yeah, all right. Punch him. Yeah, see, that's not my technique. I don't hold the head. I wrap a towel around the head and pull down and then I sit on the towel ends, you know, keeps him down there. But I don't hold the head. Amanda? Yeah. Okay, so you had a bad experience. Just give it some time. How old were you then? Um, I was 15. Wow. All right. Of course you have Take it slow. But Mm -hmm. listen, listen, uh, earth the tards out there. Uh, You have, there's, you know, you can get behind the wheel of a car and get in an accident backing out of the driveway the first time you ever get behind the wheel of a car. It doesn't mean that's going to happen every mile you travel. Yeah, and I know it's difficult because people's minds are feeble. Well, their brains are still wet. They haven't evolved. They haven't I, cemented I, yet. I, and this yes. is their first exposure. And no, listen. I, I know, but also but I the think, guys that are doing it, if he wants to have it done again, you would think he wouldn't do that. I just think as a society, we're too understanding about this. We're like, oh, oh, oh. Mm. Now, people have to say, look, of, of course this was a bad experience for you. Fall off the and bike it, a couple times, get back it, on. Yeah, it happens uh, now and again. But if you're with a guy you like come on do the math or she gets a little older and she finds somebody that she knows it's the right person to try it with again right and she's not going to be worried that he's going to choke her and right. whatever you know yeah, what i mean she's 16 just relax if you're with a guy you love fine leanne tweeden here uh i'm going to take uh, another iq test during the break i take the same test oh yes and I, i'm going to answer them all as fast as i can i'm just going to check boxes. Ran, i'm going to ram let's see what we'll see what happens after this all right, guys. Bottom line, here's the deal. Looking to hook up? Sick of wasting time with the wrong person? One call's all you need to make. Call the Dateline. The Dateline. 877-889-DATE. Love Line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. 1-800-LOVE-191. We'll be right back. Love, 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 love Line. Love Line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Alternative from San Francisco. Well, the 
warmest turn, Kitty. Big A, 115 in the IQ department. Mm -hmm. One up a uh, solid 24 points just in the uh, over the commercial break. Just using your instincts only. <laughs> for, Adam well, did have the wait too many falses. <laughs> hey, I just randomly took the test. Actually, I had to have Drew do it because I couldn't work the mouse. <laughs> Very well. Mouse that. problems. I want to thank uh, Leanne Tweed for coming in here tonight. It's always time again. Come always, on. always a breath of fresh air in here. Five four three two one on Fox Sports Net, and uh, always, always great to see you, Leanne. Thank you. Come back. Anytime. Thanks for having me. Our I was pleasure. Happy to come back. All right. So until next time, Zano Corolla for Doctor Drew saying mahalo. I was drinking right now. That's why I even bothered to call the show. This has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Annie Gold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.